in Landlock, Colorado. Teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation. Through a scholarship of a lifetime. Last day of scuba diving in the Florida Keys before heading back to Colorado. It's bittersweet. Hey guys, watch your step. You know the routine. Be careful. Gosh, I'm loving the pink socks, man. French Reef is known for its swim throughs, and they're all titled something something cave. Don't think cave. Yesterday you guys did sand bottom. It's more of like an archway, right? Okay. Christmas Tree Cave is a swim through that if you opt to go through it, again, you just have to be super careful with buoyancy control. I want to say one thing. You guys have been doing a great group. Let's, let's do it again. What do you think? Okay. Guys, you are in a National Marine Sanctuary. I always end my briefing with this. I want you to stay with your buddy, but I also want you to remind yourself. Don't come in contact with anything. So guys, let's get in and enjoy this dive. It's a wonderful time. You know, just like three fish. Yeah. Nothing much. I'm kidding. Yeah. Three. I saw a lot of fish. Did you have fun? Yes. Good. Thank you. I like that. It's smiling. That's awesome. Really good. What'd you see? I saw a super cool puffer fish at the end. Yeah. Oh, it was huge. Hey guys, we stayed on French Reef. We moved down to the very end of the reef. This is a spot that's called the Coral J. The Coral J is a ledge of reef that goes up to the next mooring ball. Beans, if this is your last dive of this this trip, let's make it a good one. What do you say? Okay. So I have a bouquet of Paralens cameras here. All right, so I hooked them all up. These magnets are really strong. So this is, you know, the equivalent of a selfie stick for underwater, right? You clip here and you, you your buddy needs help with the fish count, you can let go of it. If you have it, keep it clipped on. When you're ready to use it again, just pull it off and you're good to go. And then to record, you pull back once, hold it for like a count of two, and it says recording. And then it'll flash. We're recording right now, see that? First priority is still your safety, your buddy's safety, what's going on with the reef, make sure you're not running into anything. You guys are gonna be like this. None of this into your buddy or into the reef. This is not a reef stick. Yes. Yeah. Right, you guys ready? Deal, deal. Nice. One last thing. You guys, when you have air in your tank, when you get down to 1,000, 1,500, get myself or Clara's attention. Got it? All right, you guys, gear up, let's go. I'm like, yeah, trying to come over for the night, yeah. Baby, let me know if it's alright, yeah. I was thinking I could bring a sprite, yeah. 
And mix it with that vodka I ain't got a car, yeah I'ma pull up on ya Wake up every morning and I'm feeling like I saw ya Go to sleep at night like, baby, let me put it on ya I'm gonna run back to the dock, get a seat on the bow, and as, as always, ocean first, bang up job, man. Did it again. certified as of yesterday are you okay yeah. <laughs> but it was our last day i had a blast we're back from our last dive ever and well not ever that's a lie but it was amazing i love this experience it was really great people just a whole new world that just opened to me every time i go under it's just so so amazing to see how much there is and it was the most beautiful experience like i've ever like done So you, you must be like a scuba sensei for all these guys, I'm mentoring them as they come through their, their ranks and learn about boating and the keys. And I, I teach some people everything they know, but I don't teach them everything I know. <laughs> so the diving is done, but the day isn't. We have a lecture coming up from a couple fascinating people, and then we're off to relax at the pool. We're all here because we love the ocean. But the reality is that is there's some threats to the protection of the ocean. And I know you guys learned a lot about some of the big ones this week. So I'm gonna mini quiz you. <laughs> okay. I'd be proud, you guys. So what do you guys think are the top are the top threats to our ecosystems down here? Humans. That pretty yeah. much covers yeah. everything. <laughs> humans. So humans often change our environment, and I think I like to think I, I'm an optimist. I like to think that sometimes we're not aware of the impact that we're having or how large of an impact that we're having. But as we become more aware, we can make conscious decisions. So we heard I heard someone say plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is huge. We have produced 8.3 billion tons of plastic. So we have recycled 9% of that plastic. We have burned 12% and the other 79% is either in a landfill or is out in the environment. And most of this is not used. They say the life span of a plastic bag is three minutes. People use a plastic bag typically for three minutes before throwing it away. Okay, so timing wise, I wanna let Matt talk a little bit about our cool shipwrecks that we have on the Florida Keys. We have shipwrecks dating from the 1600s all the way up today. People continue to run aground on these coral reefs, which is uh, unfortunately a tragic situation given that we have GPS and all sorts of electronic charts that should prevent that kind of activity, but, but it still occurs. And so what it allows us to do is to remember our history and without touchstones, it's pretty easy to forget some of these moments. And if we don't recognize um, the different aspects of our past, then it's forgotten and we, we don't learn from it. I'm really proud that you all became divers and I just want to say kudos to you all because I have seen a lot of new divers that have a really hard time not touching things when they're underwater and they don't do it intentionally but you all were fantastic, very aware, Good very job, on top guys. of it, so congratulations. And what I really appreciate about what a rising tide does is they really educate kids about 
the ocean and about ocean conservation. So rather than just teaching them to scuba dive, which I think is important, they add that kind of extra protection piece, which is what allows kids to really make a difference. And so taking kids and allowing them to become ocean ambassadors is a really cool thing that a rising tide is doing. I'm gonna go jump in the pool. One, two, three. <laughs> Having you, man. Good, good to dive with you. So good to dive with you. So the kids are headed back to Colorado, but this is my hometown. So I'm going to stay for a couple extra days and visit some friends and family. To all you guys. Bye. 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 have our season finale with a special concert. And a 
Guys, as always, ocean first. Bang up job, man. Did it again. Oh, sea drawers! Unbelievable. Oh, uh, that's on tape. And, and he'll use it too. Okay, get rid of that. For using the embarrassing stuff. <laughs>